See that right there? Not good. Now if you're lucky enough, this will never happen to you, but if you play with enough small engines, they're going to find ones that develop little holes in the bottom of the bowl. Uh, this is a Tecumseh bowl. They're not just immune to the, I mean, it's not just limited to these. Um, Briggs and Stratton has it happen to on some of their bowls. If water sits down there long enough, um, it's going to happen. So how do I repair them? Because I run into them probably one in every 30 carbs. Maybe you'll run into it every time, or sometimes some of the older style Tecumsehs had these little bowl drains that were actually an amazing invention and actually helped a lot, but nobody knew about them. So a lot of times these will leak after they're, you know, 30 years old, and I pull those out and I just seal them off. So let me go over that. For years I used JB Weld, but not the quick stuff, because the quick stuff didn't like to, doesn't like to hold up to the gasoline as well. But the, uh, the standard stuff, the long dry stuff that takes 12 to 24 hours to cure, does. And that's the easy way. You can just mix some JB Weld, mm -hmm. put it right over your little hole, you know, scuff up the surface, sand it up really good, clean it off, degrease it, and put some JB Weld over there, let it sit overnight, let it sit a whole day, you're ready to go. But the method I choose to do now is actually um, aluminum brazing. Uh, they call it Aluma Weld. It goes by a whole bunch of names, but... It, Essentially, it's brazing aluminum. Uh, you can't solder aluminum. Uh, if you had a steel bowl, carb bowl that actually developed a hole, yeah, you could just put some solder on there. But aluminum brazing, uh, if it's aluminum, you have to aluminum braze with a special rod. And you can find this all over. You can find it in most farm, and farm stores. I'm not sure if you can find it in the Home Depot, Lowe's, stuff like that. Or you can find it on Amazon, places like that. Really neat stuff, but it is a little temperamental. It doesn't work just like a uh, solder does. Um, solder, you can actually just heat up the solder almost and just flow it onto the material. This stuff, you actually have to heat up the material and melt this onto your material. But there's a delicate balance where you can get your, your, your piece too hot and you'll just burn a hole right through. So what you're doing is heating up the entire piece because this is aluminum and it's going to spread the heat really fast. You want to heat up the whole piece and you're just going to scratch this and when this stick starts to stick a little bit, starts to peel off, then you can just go just a little bit more and then just melt that on, move away, you're done. Don't try to re-melt it in, don't try to keep playing with it because you're just going to make holes. So find out where your holes are, I know my holes are just barely left, I and mean, you guys can't see them but they're right there. So I'm going to heat up my whole piece. There it goes. Oops. That's it. Stuff's not always the prettiest, but it is a delicate balance of where you actually just melt a hole straight to your stuff. There we go. A minute later, it's nice and cool. And that is on there good. You can't get it pretty with this stuff, but you can get it on there and grind it down afterwards. Um, it's not very friendly as far as working. And you know, I have a video up of me doing a uh, like a riding mower transmission. I actually just fixed the whole tra the aluminum transmission is still in service um, with this aluminum weld stuff. It's a aluminum brazing rod. Um, really cool stuff. Now I can put this back into service a lot quicker than the JB Weld. It'll hold up a lot longer than JB Weld, but if you're in a pinch to fix the carburetor bowl, JB Weld will hold up. It works in those Tecumsehs where you got the little bowl drain that falls out. Just finish pulling it out, or the leaks, finish pulling it out, seal it up. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. You're still here? You didn't click on one of those other videos? Mm. Well, leave a comment below or, you know, go to my channel, check out something else. There got to be something there that you like. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up. See you later. Bye.